Hey everyone, Sean here with Roadrunner Sports, and today I'm out on the trail to review the Hoka One One Toa, their latest hiking boot. Let's check it out. Let's dive into the specs first. You know, this one comes with a Gore-Tex membrane that's gonna keep your feet nice and dry no matter what terrain or any climate. Really loving that. The Vibram outsole is also super grippy to help you stay in control no matter what type of rocky terrain you're on. It's about 15 and a half ounces for men and just under 13 for women, which make it a pretty light hiking boot, which I really appreciate it. It retails for about 170 and overall, I am loving this shoe for all my daily hikes. So I've put about 30 miles so far in this, with the longest being about eight, and I'm really liking three main things. The first being the cushion. I typically hike in a trail running shoe, so this was a little bit of a transition, but I really enjoyed it. It gave me the cushion I needed and the comfort I wanted, no matter what kind of terrain I was on. The other thing I really liked was the fit inside. I have my insoles in there, which I really recommend for any type of hiking shoe. It gives you that extra personalized fit, but it had nice support in the heel, didn't allow any slipping, gave me ample room in the toe box so I didn't move around too much but had that space if I'm going up and down hills to swell and move naturally. Plus if you're gonna wear a thicker sock it's great for that. The last thing I liked and I talked about this earlier but with the traction on the bottom. I hike a lot of rocky up and down hills and I really had no issues with these ones. You know as I said before I'm in a trail shoe a little more agile. This one held, uh, held me in place no matter what I was walking on and I really enjoyed how that felt especially after a few extra miles coming up and down the hills. That extra grip is really really nice. So who is this shoe best for? You know I would say anyone that wants a good weekend hiking shoe, someone that's hiking a few times a week, anyone that's hiking in that 8 to 15 mile range is really gonna appreciate this one. If you are gonna be taking on longer treks and maybe with a pack or something like that, you might want something more substantial, but I'm sure it could do pretty well if you're a little more of a seasoned hiker. So I really enjoyed putting this shoe into my rotation and I'm gonna take it for a lot more hikes and I hope you get a chance to do the same. Hope you enjoyed my review and check back next time to make every mile count.